Anu si Michael Luhan Bavakwa, za estigi un otru lekshon pudu me edzak finut samoru. Maguv dzunamana li hitalu. It is good to see you all again. My name is Michael Luhan Bavakwa, and here is another lesson for learning Chamorro. Today's lesson will be simple but a fundamental one. We will be learning how to say there is or there isn't something in Chamorro. Later, we'll use these terms with the possessor or possessive pronouns in order to be able to talk about having or not having something, but we'll get to that later. Siempre ta discutia zugi otrubiai. Guaha and tadza are two very, very important words in Chamorro. They are words that you use to say that something is or is not there. Guaha means there is or something, something exists. Tadza means there isn't or there aren't or nothing, or nothing exists. We'll use these words to make existential sentences like, there is a dog, there are fish in the ocean, or there are no cars on the road. Woo, Todd's a traffic. No cars on the road. Todd's a traffic. Let's learn some vocabulary that we can practice with for today. Guihan, fish. Careta, car. Gatlogu, Dog. Ho, 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 ho. La masa. Table. Sidza. Chair. Halu'u. Shark. Leblu. Book. If we wanted to say, there's a shark, we would say, guaha halu'u. If we wanted to say, there is a car, we would say, guaha careta. Let's try some sentences. Guaha guihan. There's a fish. Guaha careta. There is a car. Guaha gatlogu. There is a dog. Guaha la masa. There is a table. Guaha sidza. There is a chair. Guaha halu'u. There is a shark. I look we. Guaha leblu. There is a book. Tadza means not there or nothing. So we can replace guaha in these sentences with it in order to say that something isn't there or there's none of that. Let's practice. Nihita practica estisya. Tadza guihan. There's no fish. Tadza careta. There's no car. Tadza gatlogu. There's no dog. Tadza la masa. There's no table. Tadza sidza. There's no chair. Tadza halu'u, no shark. Tadza leblu, there's no book. We should make up our mind. Koguaha halu'u, tadza halu'u, we should make up our mind if there's a shark or not, right? Because tizahu, matnyaudzu. If you are learning from English as your primary language, this is pretty straightforward, as the syntax is similar. Always remember, though, that Chamorro is its own language, which means that we have to be open to where Chamorro is different and not let our English expectations hold us back. For example, to some speakers of Chamorro, when they hear Guahaguihan, they may interpret this to mean there is a fish or there are fish. Pluralization in Chamorro can be complicated, but we are going to start with the most basic form. In English, when we pluralize things, we usually add an S to the end of the word. This isn't the only way, but the most common way. In Chamorro, instead of adding a single letter, you use an entire word to express this. You add the word siha afterwards. For example, using the vocab we've learned today, let's make them plural in Chamorro. Guihan. Guihan siha. Fishes. Careta. Careta siha. Cars. Gatlogu. Gatlogu siha. Dogs. La masa. La masa siha. Tables. Sidza. Sidza siha. Chairs. Halu'u. Halu'u siha. Sharks. Leblu. Leblu siha. Books. When you hear fluent speakers say these words, they might contract the word and shorten it to something like xia, guihan xia, hafesti xia. Okay? For guaha, we can now use siha to make clear that we are speaking about multiple guihan 
or sidza or kareta. Let's practice some sentences now. Guaha halu usiha. There are sharks. Oh, ayah day. Guaha sidza siha. There are chairs. Guaha guihan siha. There are fish. Guaha kareta siha. There are cars. Guaha gatlogu siha. There are dogs. Guaha leblusia. There are books. When you use tadza, though, you don't need to say siha, since if something doesn't exist, then it isn't important if there's one, two, singular, plural, and so on. This is an important thing to remember, since in English you would say, there are no sharks. But in Chamorro, you wouldn't need to say, tadza halu'u siha. You would just say, tadza halu'u. Maulika. Okay? Nihita tsagi. Let's try. Tadza kareta. There are no cars. Tadza guihan. There's no fish. Tadza halu'u. There are no sharks. Tadza leblu. There's no books. Tadza gatlogu. There are no dogs. Ay, kaleng tristi zu. Sa tadza manaigui todu. We are going to learn one more thing now to help us when we are talking about if there is or there isn't something, and that is to use gi. Gi means in, at, for, from. It is a preposition that has many uses in Shemoral, but for today we will just focus on how we can use it to locate things we are talking about. We can use gi to say things like at the store, at the house, or in the ocean. Let's learn this now. Gi i tenda. Gi i tenda. At the store. Gi i gima. Gi gima. At the house. Gi i tasi. In the ocean. Gi i tsalan. On the road. For each of these places, they have the e in front of it, which means that we'll be using vowel harmony. Remember that for vowel harmony, when an e appears before a word, you will change the first vowel sound in that word as follows. A becomes a, o becomes e, u becomes e. We can see in these few sentences where we've already made the change. Kon liisya? Did you see them? Did you see them? Guma means house. Igima means the house. Tasi means ocean. Itasi means the ocean. Salan means road. Itsalan means the road. Fluent Chamor speakers will often shorten the e or swallow it when speaking, like gitsalan instead of giitsalan. You will also see it written like this at times, with, with the e omitted. Now, I'm eager for us to do some more practice. Let's try out some guaha and tadza sentences, and now we will use gi to locate the leblu, guihan, halu'u from our sentences. Guaha leblu gi ilamasa. There's a book on the table. Tadza leblu gi isidza. There's no book on the chair. Guaha guihan sia gi tasi. There are fishes in the ocean. Tadza guihan gi itenda. There are no fish in the store. Guaha sidza sia gigima. There are chairs at the house. Maulik parigipat. It's good for the party. Tadza sidza gitenda. There are no chairs at the store. Hokuk esta mafahan todu. Guaha halu usia gitasi lo tadza halu ugi igima. There are sharks in the ocean, but no sharks at the house. Thank goodness. Tadza get logos ye gitalen lo guaha get logos ye gitasi. There are not dogs in the road, but there are dogs in the ocean. I don't know about these dogs. Are these sea dogs? Are these pirates? Ayade. Biba! Not Megofesti, no. This is fun. Let's try it one more time, except we will be using kao or ko from previous lessons to ask questions. If we put kao in front of guaha, we can ask if there is something there. Like ko guaha guihan, gigima. Is there a fish? At the house. All right, nihita togwiesti. Let's do this. Koguaha haluusia gi itsalan. Are there sharks on the road? Ahi, tadza halu'u gi itsalan. No, there are not sharks on the road. That's good. I saw that movie, Sharknado. Uko ega. 
Koguaha Sidza Siagigima. Are there chairs at the house? Hungan Guaha Sidza Siagigima. Yes, there are chairs at the house. Koguaha Karete Gi Itenda. Is there a car at the store? Hungan Guaha Karete Gi Itenda. Yes, there is a car at the store. Kogwa kareta siegitalan. Are there cars on the road? Ahi tadza kareta gitalan, le guaha get logo siegitalan. No, there's no cars on the road, but there are dogs on the road. Ai natmago festina bunitun lenguahi. What a fun, beautiful language. We learned some new things today and we use some familiar words in different ways. Before we conclude, let's ask some questions. Let's do some review. Numero uno, finetna. What do guaha and tadza mean? Something and nothing. There is something there, there is nothing there. What is the most common way to make something plural in Chamorro? You put a siha after the word. Remember? Cuesta malefa how? Did you already forget? Let's practice. Estudiante, estudiante siha. Students, let blue, let blue siha. Books, tau tau, tau tau siha. People. This may seem weird now, but I promise that if you keep learning tomorrow, the siha will come as naturally as the S does when you are speaking English. All right? Utimuna question. Out of these three words, tenda, guma, tsolen, which of them will make a vowel harmony change? Tenda, guma, tsolen. Stikaling jeopardy. Guma becomes igima. Tsolen becomes italen. Tenda stays the same. This was a simple lesson compared to the last lesson, but it is easy to forget with the types of sentences that we learned today that Chamorro is sometimes similar to English, but has its own rules and its own rhythm and its own ways of saying things as well. It is important, as you learn, not to try and force Chamorro to be like English, and don't try to judge or look down on our language just because it isn't like English. Being open and accepting of Chamorro in your learning will make a big difference in terms of how quickly you learn it. That way, when it is different than English, you won't waste time struggling or frustrated, but just let the flow of this beautiful language take you away. And now, hapa rapago, adios, esta ki, manali hetatlo. That's it for today. Until we see each other again.